crazy? Surely viewers are getting sick of being bombarded by politics when all they want to do is watch some people run around with a football. <laughs> well, yes, that is exactly the case, isn't it? I mean, surely if you've had a, you know, a big day at the office, or, you know, if some people screaming at you at work or whatever, the last thing you want to do when you turn into a football match is be accosted with the politics of the day, particularly this voice debate, which is getting so old and so tiring. And the Yes camp has got to be careful here because if they go around with that patronising tone like they've been doing, people will either just switch off or vote yes in order to spite them. Because if there's one thing people just cannot tolerate, it is being patronised. And, mm. and also, saying, oh, we, we're, we're mature enough to make the, the right call, that's quite a dangerous thing to say because what's right and what's not is very often uh, subjective, as it is in this case. It reminds me a little bit of, I think it was Chris Bowen a couple of years ago before the election said, well, if you don't like our policies, then don't vote for us. <laughs> surprise, surprise, look what happened in 2019. So really, this is just getting so old and so tired. The Yes campaign is going to have to come up with a better strategy, I think, um, if it wants to actually get the vote um, across the line. Well, for my part, I hope they keep doing what they're doing. <laughs>